So now that we have seen two policies that try to approximate LRU replacement, let's see if we understood how NMRU works. Suppose we have a fully associative cache with only four lines and it's using NMRU replacement. Starts out empty, none of the lines contain any blocks. And suppose that the processor accesses blocks in the following order. It accesses something in block A, then again something in block A, then something in block B, then something in block A, then something in block C, then something in block A, then something in block D, then something in block A, then something in block E, A, 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 and finally something in block B. The question for you, what's the smallest number of cache misses we will have on this sequence of accesses, and what's the largest number of cache misses that we might have on these accesses?